Spike! How do you get up there? Oh, don't worry, honey. Daddy will get you down. Do a flip. I, I mean, I'm coming, son. You're always so funny, Sonic. I'm trying, okay? You think I meant to do that? I did not. Why did it take you so long to come home, honey? We're so excited to see this little angel. And where's your husband? He couldn't come today, but he sends you his most sincere greetings, Mom. Actually, I'm here. He did come. I finally have the pleasure of meeting you, Mr. and Mrs. Rose. I'm Sonic. Sonic the he- Huh. I perfectly know who you are. The man who's kept my little baby girl away from her home for so long. Uh, Dad? <laughs> oh, boy, look at your face, man. <laughs> uh, this is a little joke. Of course it's a pleasure to meet you. Come on. <laughs> Honey, that wasn't funny. Too bad you didn't invite us to your wedding. We really wanted to accompany you on that important day. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Mom. It wasn't really a big deal, to be honest. Everything happened so fast that we forgot about everyone else. <laughs> I see. Where are your rings, then? Oh, uh -huh. uh... Amy Rose, are you not? Married? Oh, take it easy, sugar. They're still young. They, they don't need to. You know, they don't have to if they want. Wait, wait. You knew it? You knew it? <laughs> well, you can go now. Uh, well, you'll be fine by yourself, or? Yeah, she'll get over it in a moment. Don't worry. Thanks for coming anyway. Heh. <laughs> Good luck, Ames. Is this for me? All of this is yours, my little treasure. If I could... I would steal the whole world just for you. Wait, wait, I would steal? You didn't pay for all that stuff, right? Oh, Nucky, of course I paid for it. I was just saying. You worry too much. All right, this is the day. Finally, I can tell my feelings to Miss Rose. I've been her secret fan for months. She's so pretty and she's so kind to me. Every day I go to a restaurant to see her. I never dare to say anything more than hello or a nice greeting. Uh, I'm a pretty shy guy. I think she doesn't even know my name, to be honest. But today is Valentine's Day. I've talked myself into going to her house, and I'm going to introduce myself, and... Wait, how am I supposed to introduce myself? She doesn't even know me. Hi, Amy Rose. No, that's too direct. Good afternoon, Miss Rose. No, too far. Hey! What was that? Gah! Stop fooling around, you can do it! Just be yourself. You knock on the door, introduce yourself, and give her the flowers, that's all. No more messing around. I want to meet Amy Rose. I want to know everything about her. I want... Hello, dear... Uh... Huh? Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, uh, hey! Can I help you? What is he doing here? Well, wasn't he supposed to be on an adventure or something like that? Oh, I didn't know he was in the town. Or maybe it's the wrong house. No, I'm really sure this is their address. Oh, come on, just say something quick. Dummy, you're just standing there. Ah, uh, <laughs> Sonic! Wow, what an honor! I didn't even know you were visiting this town. What brings you here, hero? Huh? Yeah, I'm not visiting here, buddy. I live here. Oh! Uh, it can't be! So, about those flowers, I'm guessing you're looking for my wife. If you want, you can come inside and... He said wife? No! These flowers, uh, they're there for you! What? Give them to her, and I hope you two will be happy together. Make a, make a lovely couple, please. Take her to the moon for me. But, uh, but... What? I have to go now. Thank you and have a nice day. Oh. Hey, wait, I don't even know you're... 
name. That was weird. What's wrong? The postman left mail? No, a guy came to leave these flowers. Flowers? Well, yeah, I mean they're for you, but for me? Oh, Sonny, you shouldn't have. I mean, I didn't. A few moments ago, someone came to. Really, you don't have to. They are so pretty. But I didn't. <clears throat> Amy, those flowers are not mine. Jeez. Huh. Well, here I am again. After all, this is my favorite restaurant. Oh, chaos! I hope I don't meet Miss Rose. I can't look her in the eyes after all that embarrassing stuff. Hi, welcome. Ah! Oh, Miss Rose, oh, what a surprise! I didn't expect to see you today. <laughs> I'm here especially to see you. I, I wanted to thank you for the flowers yesterday. The flowers? <laughs> what flowers? Oh no! Don't pretend. You don't know. Sonic told me everything. Oh really? <laughs> Before he left, he was looking for you to thank you, too. He felt a little ashamed for not knowing your name, and also for keeping the flowers by accident. No, 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 the, 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 the one who's ashamed is me. I, I didn't have to come that way. I, I didn't know you two were, like... Well, actually, not everyone knows. So it's easier for him not to feel held down, you know? And please, from now on, call me Amy. You are welcome to eat cake anytime you want. I know it's your favorite, Nathan. Oh my god. So she always knew my name. Uh, well, I, 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 it's a pleasure for me to accept this offer. You know, some people say the cake is for good luck. Weird, huh? See you later. Oh, for sure it is. Bye. I guess it wasn't as bad of Valentine's Day as I thought. Oh, sorry. Uh. <sighs> uh. Don't be sad, little angel. Mommy has to go, but she'll be back as soon as possible to be with you. Good night, sweetie. I love you. Rouge Claus is right here. Don't talk to the Master Emerald as if it's your son. That's just weird. Shh. You're gonna wake up the baby. Stop playing with your limits, woman. That emerald ain't yours. Exactly! It's mine! It's my inheritance! My legacy is an echidna warrior! Oh, no, no, no. Not until you're older, boy. Therefore, she's only mine. What?! you got to be kidding me. Come on! Come on! <sighs> What's going on? I can hear your groans through the whole house. Ah, it's just... This jacket doesn't fit me anymore past few days I've been gaining weight, but I run and exercise all the same. I don't understand what's happening to me. Hmm, yeah, that, that's, that's crazy, really weird. Anyway, I made your favorite dessert, honey. I thought you'd like some. <laughs> Amy. What? I think you look handsome as always. Come on. Nobody move. This place now belongs to the Lizard Brothers. Give me all the money or nobody will get out alive. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Your table will be ready in a second. Can I recommend the special dish of the day? Huh? Are you deaf? I'm not here to eat your damn special of the day. I want the money. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you with that, sir. But if you want, you can talk about it with the owner. Ah, oh, this must be a joke. Who the hell is the damn owner? Bzz, bzz, boss. I am the damn owner. Are you gonna order something? Or are you leaving now? <laughs> it was a pleasure having you guys here. Come back soon. Wow, chili dogs are really good here. Yeah, what an excellent service. Shut up, you fools. Hey, Sonic. Don't you think Spike looks a little tense? Look at him! He's never behaved like this in a chow garden. Uh, huh. Oh, hey, Cream! Hi, Mr. Sonic! Oh! Oh, jeez, hold on. Let me just put Spike down. Chow! 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 Chow!
What the? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh my god. Uh, it's, it's all right, little buddy. It's all right. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I don't know what that could be. Uh, huh? But Mr. Sonic, we have to tell her. And eh, nothing special. Maybe it's just like a baby thing, like a tooth, or I don't know. Boo. Huh? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? You okay? Yeah, I, I just need a moment. Come on, Sonic, put it on. You have to match with us. I'm not gonna wear that costume, Amy. It's ridiculous. Do it for Spike. It's his first Halloween. Does it necessarily have to be this? Yes! He told me that sunflowers are his favorite. Amy, he's one year old. He literally can't talk. <sighs> all right. If you do it, I'll prepare all the chili dogs you want tonight. Uh-huh. All the chili dogs I want? All the chili dogs you want. <laughs> hey, uh... May I ask why you're wearing that costume? Nope, you can't. <laughs> okay, guys, the moment has arrived. Spike is starting to speak. This is a very important learning stage in his life, so please pay attention. Babies are like perceptive and intelligent little sponges. They absorb all the information around them and imitate whatever they hear or see. It's amazing how quickly they learn. So it's very important that you avoid saying rude or strange or weird or inappropriate words in front of Spike, okay? Oh, it's great that you're so motivated to help his tails. Thank you. It's just words. I'm sure we can handle it. You don't need to do all this. Of course it's necessary. I have worked on this study plan for months. In a short time, the first words of Spike will be incredible. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys, you guys need to see this shit. Shh. Vector. Fuck. Oh, okay. We, we, we still, we, we can still solve it. Just don't say anything else. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh no! Sorry, you don't laugh at this. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. You just ruined my son's first birth. Fuck. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my god! I'm a terrible mother. You said your first word. Congrats, Star Boy. I'm so sorry, Tails. Tails. <laughs> Vector, Mint has been chewing our furniture a lot lately. I is that normal? Don't worry about it. She's just sharpening her teeth. It's part of her growth. It's like a developmental teething thing. And it's also part of her growth that she eats it? Yeah. Mm. <gasps> Honey, please, please don't do that. You can't eat it. You, you, that, you can't. That's not how this works. And that's how I managed to get away with the biggest diamond in all of Station Square. Again. That was awesome! Can I have it too, Mom? Please? Oh, no, no. This is pretty special and for Mommy only. But, but you said you would share your treasure with me! Not this time, sweet dreams, honey. That's not fair! Life's not fair, sweetie. Daddy! Do you remember the monster in the closet that scares me? Uh, sure. I think he's under my bed now. Could you take a look, please? All right, let's take a look. You little cheater. Rouge, can I just, like, get... You know what? Forget it. I think it was just my imagination. Well, it's convenient. Hey, Tails, Professor Pickle is asking about you. He hasn't stopped calling me. He told me that it's been a long time since he saw you. I don't know. So get over here and take your yellow butt to Svagonia or... <laughs> yeah, I thought we agreed to give no more opportunities. Wait, 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 wait. It's not what you think. Well, technically it is, but this time it's different. He's a good guy. Oh, it's different this time. Okay, look, a few days ago, I was touring an old Eggman warehouse for... 
non-illegal and totally legitimate reasons. And I, I found this abandoned Metal Sonic prototype. Its serial number was unknown, and it was in perfect condition. I couldn't help experimenting with it. I, so look, I have reconfigured it, and now it's totally inoffensive. Inoffensive, huh? Well, I'm kind of offended. Well, I guess as long as it doesn't give any trouble. Nice to meet ya. Metal Light was kind of like the working name. Light. What's wrong? Ah, oh, don't worry. It's pretty shy at first. Hey, Light. Show Sonic the hand trick I taught you. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't the trick. That wasn't the trick. Tails. Uh, Amy, how long is this robot gonna stay in our house? It gets on my nerves to see it just standing there. Light is not going anywhere. It will stay and live here. It was a nice gift from Tails, and we're not going to reject it. Just look at him. He's so sweet and helpful. I still don't trust it. Did you know he tried to shoot Spike and me? Aw, come on. That was an accident. Your rivalry was a long time ago. Now he's different. He changed for the better. Can't you at least give it a try? Uh. Uh. Uh, hey you, I know what you're doing. Is this your new way of revenge? Trying to replace me? Sabotage everything I do? You may fool everyone with that fake good robot attitude, but not me. I know you're still there, Metal Sonic. <laughs> what? Huh? So, you really have changed. I'm acting like an idiot. You know, I've fought with metal for so long that it's hard for me to imagine a good version of it. Of, uh, y you know. How about we start over one more time? As friends or something like that. Sonic, please! Please tell me you didn't cut those roses from my garden! Hey, hey wait, it, it, it's not what it seems. It was, it was, it was, it was the robot! Oh, no! My beautiful roses! Ah, uh, this goddamn robot. Supreme victory. Come on, honey. Say daddy. Da D. Thunk. Thunk. No, 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 no. It's daddy, like this little plush. Thunk. Nope, I'm your dad. Say daddy. Ding. Thunk. It's not working. Uh, he hasn't stopped calling me that for weeks. Maybe Spike heard it by accident from somewhere. No. I'm sure someone taught him to say that to annoy me. Don't be paranoid, Sonic. Who would even do that? Sonk. Sonk! Good little one. Now say, Sonk Poop. Sonk! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Knuckles, stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wake up, you're hitting me! You can't keep waking me up in the middle of the night, woman. Me every well, I, I don't even night. know what you're talking you're about. Your giant you're making myths stuff are up. Me like I can't. I can't keep doing this. No, no, it's me. I can't keep I doing this. I need sleep. No, I need, I need sleep. sleep. Uh, you know, you're going to go on the couch. You're going crazy. Enough! Would you please let me sleep, or just start kissing already? At least you'll be quiet. <laughs> Clearly, he inherited your bad temper and anger issues. Uh-huh. Hey, you. The kid. He asked for no pickles. Mr. Shadow, it's not necessary! Sonic, I have some very important news! You're gonna be a dad! Oh, you're, 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 like, you're... Amy, I, I, I can't be a father, I'm still young! I, I'm not ready for this! I'm still a kid! Uh, Sonic? You're literally 30 years old! That is not a kid! Uh, I know. It's okay. Take your time. It's just time is. It's just time moves even faster than I do, Amy. I know. It's okay. I'm 
Sonic's girlfriend. I'm Sonic's wife. Huh? Oh, Sonic, look how adorable those two are. Could you get... Huh? Sonic, where, where'd you go? Huh? <laughs> what the... Uh, all right. Huh? Come here. you to prove it, you know. Yeah, all right. Hi, honey, how's the baby? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. I'm just waiting for the baby to start crying. Start crying? <laughs> but, but why? Because I can't find it. <sighs> all right. Huh? Oh, hey, Amy. Where are you going? I got you something if you are going out, just a little something. Oh, thanks, Amy. Uh, why don't you just check it out? And, um, then, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like, uh, when you feel ready. Oh, oh, all right, uh, huh. Well, thanks again. Uh-huh, yep, yeah, there's more than one way to thank a girl. Ugh, I have to do everything myself around here. Yeah. So easy. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah, but you still like me. Hey, Sonic! Yeah, oh! Uh, hi, Amy and Sonic. Yo. All right, let's get going. Bye, guys. Spike says goodbye as well. Don't you, little guy? Happy birthday, Blue. Miss you wherever you are. Wait. Spike is going to touch the fire? Watch out. Oh, my. Everything all right? Just me and a brave baby. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> I love you. <clears throat> what do you mean they're wearing too many coats? I don't want them to get cold. I don't know, Amy. It just seems like a lot. I think the twins will be okay. No, they won't. They're freezing. All right. <laughs> Tails, your, uh, your AI thing there, it looks pretty familiar. Really? I, I, I mean, I, I just came up with a design by myself. You sure you're not being influenced by anything, like, subconsciously? Are you ready? Oh, we're born ready! Hey, watch out, Spike, you don't want to get wet. Although, it doesn't actually hurt, you know. Well, you don't know that. Huh, now this is the life. Mommy! 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 Are you gonna teach me now? Another time, sweetie. Mommy is getting some rest now. Help her now! Pause, not now! Get out of here! <sighs> Come to Mama. You know? You aren't gonna leave me alone, are you? Nope! Keep your promise! Okay, pay attention, Claus. You are an echidna. Echidnas do not have wings. Maybe you can learn how to glide like your father, but you cannot fly like I do. Why are you destroying my hopes and dreams? <laughs> you can cry all you want. You know it ain't working with me. It doesn't... Seriously? Oh, I cannot believe you're making me do this. Thanks for coming here so quickly, Tails. No problem. My new revolutionary and extremely complicated project that will change people's lives and the world can wait! And Claus is very grateful as well. Alright, a little final tweaking here. Let me check if the calibration of both sides is in place and... There you go! Your new mechanical wings are ready!
You're welcome. I love you too, sweetie. You won't have any problems using them without any experience, right? They are safe, right? Of course they're safe. Who do you think you're talking to? I am the best at what I do. The best. Also, I think we had agreed on a certain amount. Oh, look at you now. I remember when it was just a favor. I have to finance my invention somehow. Oh, uh, one more thing. These wings work with rechargeable batteries. Do not forget to charge them before they run out, or they will not work. Right, and I assume these are the spare ones? Spare ones? You don't need spares. There's, there's no spares. I... Oh, no. <laughs> that was the greatest flight in the history of ever! Can you two explain to me? Why my son just jumped off a cliff in front of me! So you're the best at what you do, huh? <clears throat> ah, the bill is on me this time. Uh-huh. Come on, just smile for the picture! Alright, here we go! It's one photo, do you think you can hold still for that long? It's one picture? not easy! It's a split second! What's taking so long? Just keep smiling! Running out of things to smile about. Well, at least we got one of the kids while they were kind of standing still. They literally can't do that, so that's as good as I thought Oh, it's not got. blurry! Yeah, no, it's great! Hey, what you doing there? You want to put that tomato down? <laughs> Take this right here as an apology. I am literally so sorry. I know I've already said it like a million times this afternoon alone, uh, but I, I can't say it enough. I am so sorry. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, why? Oh, uh, yeah, this is happening. Yeah, it sure is, pal. Just gonna try and upgrade this guy so he can keep you out of trouble a little better. Tails, are you sure this place isn't dangerous? I think I just saw a pumpkin eating a crow. Ugh, this is gross. Ha! <laughs> Scared rookies? Come on, guys. Pumpkin hell can be a little creepy, but it's harmless. Just ignore it and keep calm. Just look at Runny. She hasn't stopped smiling since we got here. Honey? I know what did he go crazy? Da, da. be a better idea. <laughs> Dad! Mom! I'm home! Oh, hi, my sweetheart. How was it at school? Cool! I made a new friend! Oh, is that so? And... His name's Coco! Hmm. He looks familiar to me. Is that like Silver's son? Wait, no, because Silver's from the future, so is that Silver's dad? What is going on? I missed you. I missed you too. It's been a long time. Too long. About ten years? It's so good to see you. You look good, Rouge. Really? Thanks. You look... exactly the same. Hmm. Why are you doing way out here? G.U.N. sent me to find you when your distress signal went off. Really? So after ten years, you left HQ and braved a fleet of killer robots 
just to find me. I thought you swore off field work. Yeah, well... A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And I wasn't gonna let my best friend get wasted by robots. So I made an exception. Well, I'm glad you did. Now let's get out of here before the doors. Crap. Chat Sh shadow I see it. Stay close to me. Okay. Whoa! Stay low. I'm gonna take this thing down. Hey, hey, wait a sec! Let me help! I can- uh, Whoa! I can handle this! Stay out of the way! What, so you don't see me for ten years and now you're trying to get rid of me? You're overreacting. Uh. 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 Look, Shadow, I know I'm a little older now and you're the ultimate life form and all, but that doesn't mean you have to- I don't want you to get hurt again! Shadow, that wasn't your fault. It was mine. I became stubborn. I disobeyed orders, and I paid the price. But if I hadn't left you, if I had gotten to you sooner... Hey. Hey, look at me. I'm here, aren't I? I made it, didn't I? You saved me, Shadow. You always save me. And we're a team. Now let's stop being sappy and drop this chump. Hmm. Okay, I'll hit him high, you hit him low. Got it. Huh. Chaos Katanas! Okay, my turn now. Take this! Huh. <sighs> Jeez, finally that tin can falls down. Not that it was a problem. Did you see the way I handled that rust bucket? Yes, ma'am, this old girl still got the moves, right, Shadow? Sure do, Rouge. You've hardly changed a bit. Now come on, let's go home. So, be honest. Do you like working in the offices? I mean, sure, it has its perks. It does get kind of boring, though. Not nearly as exciting as being a field agent. Well, maybe you should come back. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't. I'm out of practice. I'm too old. Roosh, you're 36. If you're old, what does that make me? I'm pushing 80. I'm a geezer. <laughs> yeah, right, but you're also an immortal alien hybrid. So that doesn't count and you know it. Old man. Huh? Is that... Is that my inhibitor ring? You... Kept it... All these years? Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> why wouldn't I? It means a lot to me. I mean, you mean a lot to me, so... Rouge. I... I... Uh. <sighs> is that Abe? Yes, it is. Yeah. I should go. I'll miss you! I'll miss you too, my dear friend. Mm. Rouge, I love you. Shadow, you're needed in the squad room. Report for a briefing immediately. Ugh, fine, I'll be- We will be right there, Abe. We? I thought you were retired. Yeah, well, some new circumstances have come up, and I've changed my mind. <laughs> Very well. But are you ready? There are scarier things out there than giant robots. That's fine by me. I don't care what life throws at me. As long as I'm facing it with you, I'm golden. <laughs> What? Knuckles, did you just... I wasn't purring! Ah! <laughs> now what do you think of that? See, I told you dancing was fun. Well, maybe a little. I like that suit on you. I like it a lot. Stop, the other guests are staring. <laughs> oh, you are so annoying. Why did I even marry you? Hey. You're out of options. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, I absolutely did. But you chose me. Uh-huh. You know, I keep forgetting you can do stuff like this. Yeah. Are you sure that's good for the kids' brains? Well, the way I see a worst case scenario, they end up like you. Huh. Hmm. Hey, Papa? Yes, son. When did you start liking Mama? Uh, huh. Papa! Oh! oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Papa! Papa! I made a spear! I made a spear! You made a spear! You're so cool, Papa! Come on, boy! Focus up! Yes, sir! Oh, I thank you. I always want to look my best. It's nice to know my efforts are appreciated. Unlike someone. Woman, don't even start with me. I complimented you an hour ago. And that is one more hour ago than it should have been. Papa! Papa! Well, let's try and not do that again. <laughs> so you like it? Well, I don't think we get to spend enough time like this. Not anymore for the kids, <gasps> no. Huh? Hey, Mama! Oh, my little angel. Oh. Get out of the way. What? Oh, who would you, my little angels? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Again, no, I, I do don't... always do this. Everything I has to let be me you speak. on I, your own. I, Again, don't I don't you need you to. you on I don't need you to. We're supposed it's a to be fact. a team. A team. Do you even know what that means? Can you spell that word? Oh, ha, ha. I can't spell team. No, you know exactly what I mean. There's no Listen, I. Listen, you know, I'm not you, dealing with this. Do you know why they say that? Do you know why they say that? This is why I'm more effective alone. Why Why you're on a team then? I don't even know. Listen. Shadow. Rouge. What? What is going on? The consistency of your insufferable bickering is prohibiting progress on the mission. And neither of you will leave this premises until the issues between you are resolved. So get along. Or else. Adios. Shadow, can't you just teleport us out of here? No. And why not? Because he's right. Rouge, I'm... Two years. It's been two years. I know. How much longer would it have been if we hadn't happened to run into each other again? Did you forget that you said you never wanted to see me again? And that's my fault, how? What do you want me to say, Rouge? I'm really sorry, okay? There isn't a day that goes by where I don't think about it and I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I never asked you to care about me. No, of course, you never did. Why would you? I never should have said those things to you. You didn't deserve them. I shouldn't have hurt you. Me too. I know I... I said some things that hurt you too and I'm... And I'm sorry. Huh. We both messed up. Thank you. For what? For being honest. You know, it seems like the only thing we were ever good at together was arguing. <laughs> You're right. I guess I can't blame you for wanting to leave. I could barely keep a team of three together. Um, no. Honestly, Rouge, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be here right now. You've saved my life in more ways than I can count. And you helped give me reasons to start hoping in things again, and I'll never be able to thank you enough for that. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. No, don't. No, don't cry. It's okay. You helped me too. I did? I mean, yeah. You are one of the most hot-headed, stubborn, arrogant people I have ever met. Okay, thanks. I did see moments of you really caring and wanting to help people. Stay here. And, I don't know, it gave me hope, I guess, that there can be good in anyone. Even me. So thank you. Can we start over as friends again? Just friends. <laughs> really? That's how you're gonna ask me? Well, yeah, I mean, 
I'm not, I don't. <laughs> Rouge, come on. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't answered my question. I will think about it. Friends? Huh. <laughs> Friends. I can't date her. She's my best friend. Bra. Shadow, you can hold my hand. It's okay. Well, if you absolutely insist. The roof. Of course. I knew you'd be hiding up here. Oh, not hiding. I'm, I'm just thinking. Here. It's cold tonight. Yeah, thanks, Ames. Can you join me? <laughs> I want to have a baby. Uh, you what? Sonic, look, if you're saying that just because it's what I want, then don't. I, I know I've talked you into doing things you, you don't always want to do, but this isn't something... Amy, quit being so hysterical. I want this. I really do. I want to have a baby. I mean, if you want to, I'm ready. Let's have a baby! Not on the roof, not on the roof. Hey, little bro, what's up? Are you okay? You, you look exhausted. Yeah, well, Amy's of... Uh, of... Uh, of... Obvious, obviously got me working too much. Women, am I right, huh? Uh, Sonic, where are you? I'm on my lunch break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I better finish my memory erasing device post haste. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, my darling, but I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me for a moment. To do what? We're having a baby! 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 Hey, guess what? Uh, what? We're having a baby! Sonic, we got your urgent message! What's going on? Where's the villain? It's been a long time since I got to break anything. Family and friends! Thank you for meeting us here. Prepare yourselves for the most exciting news you will ever hear in your life. Feast your eyes upon Sonic Jr. Sonic, you jerk! You didn't even bore me first! Here I am stuffing my face in front of all our friends, and you pick now to announce the most important moment of our lives! Oh man, I'm sorry, I really wanted to eat that ice cream. Now I'm gonna have to get another. We are going to be uncles. Going to be uncles. You named Amy's tummy after yourself? No, Sticks, I'm pregnant. And we're not naming the baby Sonic Jr. Yes, we are! So, when are they arriving? They? they? We're just expecting one, I think. <laughs> they? Uh, they? Well, you do know that hedgehogs typically have several at a time. Um, well, that's actually kind of rare nowadays, Rouge. I don't know. This one gal I met had three her first time around. And Bridget from my high school, she had four. Sasha had three. Elena and Ruben had two. And we're expecting another two this November. I even know someone who had six. Could you believe it? But I guess it's too early to know. What have you done to me? <laughs> I hate this part. The gel is so freaking cold. Ah, oh, babe, you wanna trade? I don't know how many chili dogs I've been eating lately. I've got to be about, like, f what, five times your size now? Come on. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Here we go. Ah, oh, there. The baby is still looking nice and healthy. And you're sure there's just one? Yes, Dad. Like I've been telling you, every time you come in, there's only one. I still need to get Rouge for that. So, do you want to know if you're having a boy or girl? You can tell? Yes! Wait, no! Wait! Let's do that cake thing, Sonic! A cake thing? Yeah, yeah, don't tell us. Just put it in an envelope or something. This is wonderful. This is I've it. always this is wanted for real. to do this. So we just take this to a bakery and we need the cake pink or blue. I'm sure oh, I can convince him and naming him I Sonic Jr. I need to teach him the No, wait, I can't do that. But yeah, he's going to get into everything. You have to act surprised. No, I'm, I'm going to teach him how to get on Egghead's no, last no, nerve. I don't have to look at it. I don't have to look at it. If it's a girl. It's a magical moment. Oh, my sweet little one. I know it's going to be a long while until you're here. But we just can't wait to meet you, Sonic. <sighs> if it's a girl, oh god, oh, she's probably gonna grow up and be so beautiful. If anyone tries anything, so so get by, dispose of. That's nice, dear. 
Now, can you stop planning your murder spree and help me pick out a cake? What kind of strange, evil cake chooses what a baby is? Sticks for the last time. That's not how this works. All right, everyone. Let's gather around and solve the mystery. Uh, mm. Step away from the dessert. The cake has too much power. It must be destroyed. Sticks, no! Is that a flamethrower? Mmm. You idiots almost burned a perfectly good cake. We're having a girl! Time to eradicate anything with a Y chromosome. Don't hug me. I just stole your cake. I'm still a villain, damn it. <sighs> oh, sorry for crashing on the couch last night, Ames. I just, I just couldn't sleep with the baby kicking all night. You don't say. I'm sorry, I just can't eat one more bite. Is that ice cream? Waiter, waiter! Now if I could just get a phone number. What is my phone number? Hello, sexy mama. Don't fucking touch me. Why are you so far away from me? Uh. Ah! Wow, you guys. This is too much. I don't even know how we could ever repay you. Bling diapers? Oh, Amy, no need to repay me. You agreeing to be in our wedding on such short notice is payment enough. You hear that, honey? Oh, isn't it just great how they decided to have a spur the moment wedding before our due date? You know what else is great, babe? Having a feeling in my left arm. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. It would be really cool if I got to keep that. Open my next! Open my next! Open my next! Wow, you made this yourself, Sticks? Aw, it's adorable. And it doubles as a switchblade, you know, in case the baby needs to defend itself. Ugh, you guys, I just finished my gift for Aurora, my number one dad mug. It's a mobile of the solar system to a one to 200 million scale, of course. Tails, this is... Um, how is this gonna fit in the nursery? Oh, we missed one. For me? Huh. Is that a maternity shirt? You look just like Eggbreath used to back in the day. I have to admit that is Robotnik's shape. Hey, Amy, darling, baby, sweetheart, I didn't do that, so just like, I mean, which one of you guys did this? Do you not realize the hell you've just unleashed? Eggman, what are you doing here? What is it, sir? A gray hair. This is it. My time is drawn to a close. If it makes you feel any better, I thought you were gonna kick the bucket years ago. When I'm gone, what will be my legacy? I have nothing to show but a rusty building full of useless pieces of junk like you. Hey, I didn't even take over one continent for Pete's sake. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end of life. Perhaps you shall be remembered as a creator rather than a conqueror. One must admit, you succeeded far more often when you were teaming up with Sonic to save the world rather than when you were trying to destroy it. That's it. Sonic. That's the answer. I never felt more alive than when we were fighting to the death. A good old bout with that blue devil will lift my spirits again. He won't even bat an eye at us anymore. Sure he will. We just need to get his attention. But sir, she's with child. Meaning she won't be able to fight back. Bring her to me. You know, you've got some nerve bringing me here. It's a shame I left my hammer at home. I could have thanked you for the gift you gave me. Now, Amy, we both know you can't fight in your precious condition. What are you going to do with us? Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you or a freaking baby. I may be an evil genius, but I'm not a monster. It won't take long for Sonic to realize you're missing. My lair is the first place he'll check. Wow, you're just dripping with chivalry. Meanwhile, I'll be keeping you in this very dangerous looking yet completely ethical cage. The sight alone will enrage Sonic and he will break in. Little does he know I've coded a special failsafe in this fortress. When the sensors recognize his exact DNA, 
the entire building will go into lockdown. Even after saving you and your unborn child, there will be no means of escape for a solid hour. Sonic will have no choice but to fight my warrior bots. Then, when all hope seems lost, I'll let him win. This time. When the hour has passed, boom. The lair will come out of lockdown. You idiots will go off on your merry way, and I can start planning my next evil scheme. Amy! Sonic! Activating emergency lockdown. Ha! Huh. Now that you're here, you'll have to fight my two biggest mechs. You better not blink. <laughs> Sorry, I, I meant no harm. Oh, but I do. <gasps> G -g guys oh, I just wanted to relive the glory days. You remember? It was really great. It was really great. It was great. Guys! I can't help you with reliving the past, but I can knock you to next Tuesday. I haven't seen this side of you before. You know, this is, honestly, Sonic, we've known each other. We've known each other a long time. Come on, guys! The baby is coming. What? What? Hey, Amy, baby, it's uh, it's okay. Just hold on. I'll get us out of here. You can't. Sure, I can. We'll be at a hospital in a split. No, you can't. As soon as you broke into my island fortress, the building went into lockdown. Then unlock it. I can't. There's no override. The locks will disable in an hour. We don't have an hour. This is why you don't kidnap pregnant people! You'll have to deliver the baby here. You're going to help us. I'm not that kind of a doctor. I have a PhD in women's studies. I don't care. You have managed to interfere with every important moment in our lives, and I am not about to let you ruin this one. I won't say I've ruined every single one. Oh. Oh, well, maybe I have ruined every single one. Hey! Are you listening to me? We need your help! I can't deliver this baby. But they can! Labor and delivery nurse database acquired! Labor and delivery nurse database acquired! This is- oh! This isn't how I pictured this- This day would go! You and me both, Ames. You're in good hands now, Mrs. Hedgehog. You're gonna want a brace for this! Me? Praise for what? I already have your contraction patterns timed out in my program. Deep breath. The next contraction will start in three, two, one. <laughs> Four! I want a baby, he says. Let's have a baby, he says. That is the last time I let you seduce me on our roof. Oh, God, let this end. Uh, what was that last bit? Just one more push. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shush. Let's just clean you up and... Time of birth, 03-13, p.m. Healthy weight. Vitals are stable. Congratulations. Don't drop it, it's tiny. <laughs> Come here. That's right. Right to mommy. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, Sonic, she's even more perfect than I imagined. <laughs> she is. She's so small. Look at those eyes. Hi, oh, it's so good, Ames. Oh, she's looking at you. It's me, your mom. You copy on an off day. This is your dad. I look even cooler than I sound, right? <gasps> oh, oh, you, you get, get kisses, kisses too. Ah, oh, she's got my finger. Oh, baby, are you seeing this? Ah, oh, you're so strong, tiny. You'll be giving Uncle Knuckles a run for his money in no time. Huh? What? Ahem. I, uh, I knew you'd be hiding out here. I thought you'd like this back. Oh, thanks. Shouldn't you be, uh... Nah, the ladies need some sleep. Besides, I need to stretch my legs. I'd like to, um, bestow Orbot and Cubot onto you uh, on an as-needed basis for Natty and what have you. Wow, I'm touched. I guess you're not such a hard-boiled egg after all. Don't get cute. I have to thank you, you know. We couldn't have done this without you. Granted, this was your fault in the first place. You listen here, you little pest. Just because... Thank you. Seriously. Ah, oh, I... You're welcome. Nothing like a day like today to make you feel alive, am I right? Yes, Sonic. It sure does. 
What do you mean you're not going? You can't not go. You know I can't stand social events. But I'm going to be performing there. Aren't you going to support me? I stopped by to send you my well wishes. I'm sure you'll be perfect. Remember when you told me you loved me? When you said you'd do anything for me? That did not include dinner parties. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the fine print on that one. Mm, you dumb, stupid old... Ugh! Oh, fine. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll make sure I dance with every single guy at that party. Huh. As if that stubborn father of yours would ever allow that. <laughs> Please. He will be so relieved that I'm not fussing over you. He'll be overjoyed. What? What? Well, I hope you have a fabulous time by yourself. Oh, I, I didn't know you were going dressed like that. Let's get going, Tiny. Good night, Grumphog. Aurora, wait. Uh, I need to find a suit. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Sonic the Hedgehog and family. Welcome, Hedgehog family. Oh, thank chaos you're here. You look wonderful. But Sonic, I believe it is customary to wear a bow tie to black tie events. That's what I've been telling him. I put on pants, didn't I? And for all, just so proud of you, babe. Knock it off, Ames. Pants are a big deal, okay? And reducing Mr. and Mrs. Knuckles the Echidna and family. Is something wrong, Uncle Tails? Oh, no, 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 no. These rich snobs are just a handful, that's all. I can't wait to hear you sing, Lightning Bug. Welcome. All of you. Thanks for having us. Boys, what do we say? Thank, Thank you, you for inviting us to this elegant, elegant, elegant affair. I didn't mean you too, Knuckles. Miss Rory! Hey, T-Man. Hey, Ruff. I've never seen you boys looking so fresh. Mom put snot in our fur. Hair gel, T-Bone. But might as well be snot. Blech. Well, my date stood me up. Maybe I can steal a dance with you two, so I don't have to spend the entire evening by myself. That won't be necessary. Uh, introducing Mr. Shadow the Hedgehog, quite unexpectedly. Well... Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady! I'm glad you changed your mind. Me too. I'm sorry about it earlier. You look phenomenal. Back off, creep! Oh, I didn't realize compliments were against the rules. Great parenting skills, Sonic. <laughs> now everybody listen! We are all going to be polite and get along, and not fight at our friend's party. Or so help me, I will beat you all into the ground. Curious. I was looking forward to Stix attending. Don't take it personally. This isn't really Stix's thing. Uh, you thought you could pull a fast one on Stix, eh? Inviting me to your evil robot party? I've got my eye on you. So, how are things with Tails? Mostly pleasant. Though, there continues to be a language barrier at times. It's so peculiar. In my former life, my purpose was to translate languages between computers. Yet with Tails, there is so much I still do not understand. Oh, don't worry, CC. It'll come with time. Sonic and I are so close, we don't even have to talk with words anymore. Watch this. <laughs> It worked! What did you tell him? Oh, just that we forgot something back at the house. Oh, sorry, Cece, I'm gonna steal my wife from me for a bit. Okay, thanks, bye. We'll be back! Impressive. Mmm, chicken. Dad! Can I please have the leg? Only take the leg, just the leg, I swear! Of course you can, bud! Yes, thank you! Just hand me your plate. <laughs> It's mine at last! Return my appendage or I shall exact the law of Talion upon you! That's the spirit, T-Bone! Stuff this fancy party! Okay, so while everyone was focusing on the kids, I may have accidentally stolen this necklace from someone. Mmm, this looks delicious. Come here! As much as I'd love to knock you on your drunk tail, need I remind you that we agreed not to fight tonight? Keep walking, tough guy. Wait, I don't understand. 
Bartender, <coughs> get this pipsqueak a drink. Oof. You don't have to do that. Oh, but I do. You see, I've come to the painful realization that I'm stuck with you. So let's just drink up and let me pick your brain, because that's what in-laws do, right? Get your finger out of my face before I rip it off your hand. Cheers, you son of a bit. Wait, are you even old enough to drink, little grandpa baby? Baby grandpa, science experiment man? Give me that. Eh. What did I miss? Have they killed each other? No, they've just been talking. I just, I can't believe my daughter had to pick a genetically engineered mutant to date. Is <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just pictured the pilot showing up at your door and the ducks like, Hey, Pops. No. No, no. But Daddy, I love him. It's a salamander. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It hurts. I love you, man, but I still want to kick your teeth in. And you're like, my friend, but I can't freaking stand you. We should do karaoke. Yes. My dad and my boyfriend are making drunk jokes about me. Well, at least they're bonding, you know? Sticks through me in a dumpster! You all must be clean to your hoity-toity facade! Come on, throw something else in. I can keep this up for ages. That's a family heirloom. Give my teeth back. Put your party pants on, Leroy. He's a strong <laughs> word, but I really, I really, really, really don't like you. I really don't like you. Get off the stage! No! I'll fucking kill you! Shadow, I'm the ultimate... Gary O'Neill. <laughs> I'm the coolest. Cool boy. <laughs> Real cool. And then you go, bada, 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 bada. You have to give it all back, Rouge. Your thieving days are behind you. You can't make me, you, you stubborn brute. Tumble, you get down here and give Cece your leg back. No! Give it back, T-Bone. Her hand won't stop attacking me. Well, I've been set on fire. This is my cue to go home. Love the party! Oh no. Oh, this party went to hell and I had nothing to do with it. Why am I on the floor? Why am I wearing clothes? Oh, shit. Why is he in my house? Oh. Oh, your voice is even more annoying than usual. Well, let's see, shall we? The two of you drank the place dry and refused to be separated for the rest of the night. So you invited Shadow over to build a pillow fort. Oh, and you both thought it would be hilarious to bring up embarrassing Aurora stories. She made you both breakfast, though. Guess she's not that bitter about it. Oh, wait. Yes, she is. Good morning. I thought you guys might be hungry, so I made you this. No hard feelings, right? Oh, and I took the liberty of developing the photos from last night. Don't worry about distributing them. By the time you wake up, I'll have already hand-delivered them to everyone. P.S. This one's my fave. Aurora. Aw, oh, sweet chaos. You have my permission to kill me now. That's my girl! Rouge! <laughs> 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 So, you, uh, didn't come to bed last night. You decided to work instead. I do not require sleep, remember? Yes, uh, but, well, I'm sorry about the party, you know. You are forgiven. However, I revoke your privilege to host any more of these events. Uh, actually, now that you mention it, I already agreed that we would- I forbid the hosting of future events. Holy crap, Cece, I was kidding! Regulate your heartbeat. It was only a taunt. I could not harm you even if I tried. What is wrong with me? Some type of firewall in my chest cavity? I may need to install some upgrades. Oh, I'm sorry again. Oh, I'm, uh, you, uh, 
Well, you, uh, you looked really pretty last night. I meant to tell you earlier. I'll just get to work now. I completed most of today's tasks while you were sleeping. I proposed the idea to use the spare time to do a leisurely activity together. Perhaps to make up for last night, so to speak. And you looked quite... pretty as well. Huh. 